Hello ladies and gentlemen, so how to install FPS Unlocker? First of all, could you get banned for using this? I know a lot of people are going to ask this. So first of all, of course, I cannot say that you won't get banned. I've, I also cannot say that you will get banned. All I can say is this is out there since three years and no one got banned since then. Uh, now you could ask this. Okay, they didn't ban anyone until now, but what if they change their mind and decide to um, blacklist this, okay? For example, after one month. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're thinking about permabans, don't worry, that's not going to happen. But realistically, um, we, we could be talking about a ban duration of 15 days. Why am I saying 15 days? Because that's the lowest punishment that cheaters get, right? And the thing is, we are not... this. You need to understand the difference. Um, in 3D Migoto, for those who don't know, 3D Migoto is what we use when we want to use like mods, skins. 3D Migoto, FPS Unlocker, and um, private servers, these are not cheats. These are not nearly as bad as cheats. These are something that we use to enhance our gameplay, to have more fun because we loved, love this game, right? So there is no reason for Hoyoverse to punish you more then they punish a cheater, right? So the thing is, 3D Migoto, private server, FPS unlocker, and reshade are uh, can be detected by Genshin's anti-cheat because let's be honest, when you open your PC, that anti-cheat starts running. I think when you open your PC, Hoyoverse could even know what color your pants are, okay? They're simply not doing anything because it does not cross their red line. But realistically speaking, if they will decide to um, blacklist this stuff, this is my um, opinion, what I think will happen is a pop-up will appear saying that you should restart the game, that there is a third party application running in the background. So it should say, hey, close this, restart the game, otherwise you won't be able to play. Or like YouTube does on ad blockers, hey, we have detected you using third parties, um, close them, delete them. Next time we detect, the, the, next time we detect it, we will be banning you. Or they could make an example out of us by banning us for seven days. So long story short, if you're afraid, if you're paranoid, don't use it. But all I can say is, since three years, no one got banned, and it's very unlikely that anyone will get banned permanently. The most thing, the bad, the worst thing that can happen is us probably getting um, seven days of ban as a warning. You know, that's what happened on 3D Migoto when HSR first came out and it's first week and then they repaired their anti-cheat or they fixed it. And after that, no one got banned. That, that's a long story. So, ladies and gentlemen, how to download it? Down in the description section, there's a link, okay? You click on it, it will bring you, it will redirect you to this page. Here, you, you, you might have a higher version, okay? Right now, we're in 5.0. Uh, I have 3.3 here. You might have um, 3.5, okay? Depending on when you are watching this video. Install, download the latest versions um, EXE, and when you're done, Close your browser, go to your downloads. This is uh, what you'll see, okay? Unlock FPS and see. Now, you can place this wherever you want. Um, just don't put it into an external, external drive. Just keep it inside the same drive as your game. I, for example, am putting it inside the folder where I have 3D Megoto and private server. So if you do the same, if you're not keeping it in your desktop, I recommend you to at least um, create a shortcut like this. Control X, Control V, so that, it's, uh, that it is more convenient to use, you know, this way it's easier to use. I name it Jifu, Ancient Impact FPS Unlocker. Now, what you need to do is double click. That's all, you don't need to do anything. By the way, don't worry about this. This is because Windows does not know who the publisher is, unknown publisher. We know what we are doing, so yes. Now, can we go higher? Oh yeah, we can. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will go with uh, 120. You can go higher or lower. Um, just know that um, Genshin Impact, just because it's a mobile game, does not mean that your graphics card can run it on 240 FPS if it's not very good, okay? 
So um, it can cause stutters. So make sure to find uh, yourself a good value. For example, 75, 90, 120, 144, 145, 165. These are good values. I'm going to use 120. Start game. It's going to, um, it will try to find the path. However, this one's wrong, for example. So I'm going to click browse, then find the game. If you don't know where your game is located in, uh, launch your Hoyo Play. All right, now go to Genshin, click on this button, game settings, and here is your path, okay? Now, browse, select your game, then it will um, automatically launch your game. Now you might be asking, hey, how can I use this with 3D Migoto? How can I use this with private server? On 3D Migoto, all you have to do is, I'm not going to show the game because uh, the video might be taken down. So let's begin with 3D Migoto. Um, first, you're going to use um, the uh, Jimmy loader, wait for it to say, um, waiting for the program, and then, launch Jifu, so the uh, FPS unlocker. That way it will work, they can work at the same time. On private server, it's a bit different. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a theme, uh, go to grass cutters or to my server and download a uh, custom theme. Go to settings, select it from the uh, set theme. Uh, make sure to set a theme that makes this question mark visible. Look, it's here in the middle. You click on it three times, okay? When you click on it three times, this button will um, appear, this plus button, and you will have a bit, uh, a couple more options. Set a copy or other cheat ex executable. Now, this isn't a cheat engine, but still, um, you can use FPS Unlocker with it, okay? It launches it um, without any issues. So, and what you do is you launch the server, okay? It's going to launch and when it says done, you're going to click on this plus button. You're going to select those which you want to use, okay? In this case, I want to use uh, the Migoto and FPS Unlocker, so both are selected. Then when it says done, you click on launch and it's going to launch the game, okay? That's it. I'm obviously not going to wait for this now. So yeah, that's how you use it with PS and 3D Migoto. So that's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked it, please do, uh, leave a like and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.